Hola y bienvenidos a lección 4.1.1. I've got a class full of students staring at me as they take a quiz right now. I hope I'm not too disruptive for them. Buenas tardes, clase. La cuarta hora. Okay, um, actually, yes, you are right. This is the video for tonight. Yes. Okay. Um, in esta lección, I'm just going to recycle a previous video. So here you go. Go ahead and watch this quick, uh, quick preview slash review of uh, imperfect AR verbs, the imperfect tense of AR verbs. Here we go. So you may recall that as we talked about the preterite, we talked about if it were a timeline, something along these lines, the preterite would be a bam, an action that happened a specific point on that timeline, beginning and end. Today we're going to talk about the imperfect, more like the squiggly line here. Um, something that went on over time. A different kind of visual, one that I like, is to imagine a present on a timeline. You know, this is like our preterite. It's nicely wrapped up. It's a nice, clean thing, beginning and, oops, put a little bow on it. Nice, pretty thing on the timeline is the preterite. Bam, on the timeline. Okay, now here we go. Here comes the imperfect, what we're talking about today, the imperfect. Imagine that present opened up. You're not sure where it begins or ends. There's little pieces of paper everywhere. Perhaps there are some other boxes inside that box. You know, it's all over your timeline. You're not sure of the beginning or end or it repeats. That's the imperfect. We're going to be talking about the imperfect today. So here are the endings for the imperfect. Of an AR verb, we've got aba, abas in the to form, aba, Again, in the L A U stand for notice it's the same O. Nosotros we have abamos, abamos. Now we put an accent over that A here. There we'll go back in a second. Ellos es ustedes aban, A B A N. Okay, so there we are. There are endings for the A R imperfect. Um, now if you're into the vosotros, we won't do much vosotros here. If you're into the vosotros, alais. Get back out here, though, so you can see. Okay, now notice on this abamos, the uh, the stress is usually on the next last syllable when it ends with uh, n s or vowel, but we have to put an accent there since we're not ending it there. Okay, let me move these around a little bit. Let's throw in a real verb here instead of just dealing with these endings. Jugar, common verb, jugar, to play. So this is what it would look like if you would say, I used to play or I was playing. Not, I played yesterday. Yo jugaba. I used to play or I was playing. Tu, tu, move this over here, be easier. Tu jugabas. You used to play. El, e, usted. Right back, it's here. Jugaba. El, e, usted jugaba. Okay. Let's throw in a different verb. Take a look at another one. Now again, jugar, think, uh, I'm sorry, imperfect things that used to happen or that were happening when something else happened. Tocar, like the piano, tocar el piano. Yo tocaba, tocaba, I used to play. Tocabas, you used to play or touch. El, e, usted, tocaba. Okay, so we just use those regular AR endings. Aba, abas, aba, abamos, abais, aban. We just add the stem of our verb. It's as easy as that. Tocábamos. Mi hermana y yo tocábamos el piano. Vosotros tocabais. Ellos, ellos, ustedes tocaban. Tocaban. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, the imperfect actually being used. Here we've got the two sentences. Yo hablé con mis amigos. I spoke with my friends. This is preterite. This is something that we were doing last chapter and the chapter before. Yo hablé con mis amigos. Um, for example, yesterday, yo hablé con mis amigos. But now with the imperfect, we want to say, yo hablaba con mis amigos. We're still talking in the past, but instead of a bam, something that happened at a defined moment, beginning and end, this is something that we used to do or went on over time. Oh, when I was young, yo hablaba con mis amigos todos los días. Okay, so hopefully um, hopefully this kind of clears it up. Okay, so that's it for AR verbs. Next one we'll talk about ER and IR verbs. But that's it for today. You do have to answer three questions here or have uh, your three responses on your note sheet. So here you go. Um, write three sentences to describe or to answer this question. 
¿Qué hacías de niño? ¿Qué hacías de niño? Chao.